crab chunder chops. <laughs> like I said, only dags need fangs. Will you stop the crunching plankton? I'm conducting a highly technical experiment here. Ah, oh, but Vortex, you can't help but crunching goopy loops because they're so full of crisp, natural goodness. Goopy loops? What's the use? What is the use? Lunch them? Munch them. Any way you lunch them, that's the sound of wonderful Goopy Loops. Oh, look what, Matt, for Goopy Loops. That's the sound everyone knows. That's the sound of wonderful Goopy Loops. And now you could win $10,000 in cash in the Goopy Loops Compute the Loops competition. Yes, that's right. $10,000 in cash. Hey, boss. Now we all know that every bowl of Goopy Loops is filled with hundreds of delicious, nutritious loops of goodness. Yes, 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 yes. What we want to know is how many loops would it take to fill the Melbourne Cricket Ground? Just send your big entries to Compute the Loops competition care of the station you are now watching. And remember... $10,000 in cash could be yours. Don't touch those loops! Lord, I'm a hungry. We're going to need every loop we can lay our hands on, Plankton. What for? Well, didn't you hear the ad? Yeah. Well, don't you see? It's easy. We we count how many loops it takes to fill, um, say, well, this bucket, right? And then, and then I can calculate how many buckets it will take to fill the MCG, and the money will be ours. <laughs> yes. So... Start counting. Yeah. I wonder why. Okay, this. Gosh, what a mess. Hey, this reminds me of the case of the preserved bunnies. Do you remember? The one where the bunnies went silly and wrecked the laboratory. Oh, yeah. Hello, is there anyone here? Harvey, Harvey, dear. Harvey, come back here, dear. Come here, dear. Oh, you naughty bunny. Come here. It's all right, Rick will get him. Come on. Oh, sorry. We'll be with you in a minute, moment. Oh, dear. Oh, thank you. There you are, you naughty little boy. Sorry, but we're in such a mess. What can we do for you? <laughs> Good morning. My nephew has a dog called Morris, and it's his birthday tomorrow. I was looking for one of those collars with the initial M on it. Oh, is it uh, your cousin's birthday or Morris's? <laughs> The devolve. Oh, yes. Well, you can hold. There we are, Harvey. Oh, I'm pretty sure we have one in stock. Oh, I wonder where the budgie swings were. There, let me see. Well, isn't that lucky? It's the first thing I've been able to find in three days. Right, I must make a note of that and write that down on my list here. You know, when I bought this place, I had no idea there were so many different products for pets. There are 30 different sorts of fish food. Krill, kelp, plankton, and so on. Looks like you'll have to do a big stock take. Oh, I did that at first. It's all here. The problem is, though, that every time I make a sale, I have to make out a new list. Now, let me see. Dog colors, dog colors, dog colors. Oh, right. There was 22. I sold you this one, now there's 21. Ah, uh, I must remember to order some more M's. Looks like you've got a lot to do. Oh, dear. You know how much trouble it is to get this organised. Well, you know what you could do with? A computer. <laughs> Don't tell me about computers. There's, there's one here already. It's the main reason that this place is in such a mess. Why? Oh, the man who owned this place before me had one of the things. And all he did was play those computer games on it all day. Well, is it still here? Yes. Can I have a look? Well, if you really want to, just come with me. Here's the stupid thing. What do you think? Just what the doctor ordered, Mrs... Mullet. Maureen Mullet. Well, Mrs Mullet, I think we've got the answer to your problems here. At least you have. 
100 so now the width of the MCG is 151 metres exactly. That's the distance down here. Uh, the, the height of the stands is the... Spit it out. I said spit it out! Now, what did I tell you about eating goopy loops? Oh, but, Gord, I'm hungry. You're hungry? Plankton, look, don't you realise that by eating one, just one loop, you could throw my calculations out by thousands? That loop has probably cost me $10,000, Plankton. Um, I'm disappointed in you. Now, get on with it. Where was I? Right, now I've got to calculate the size of the oval. Multiply that by the height of the stands, and then divide that figure by the size of the bucket. Right, now. Wouldn't the goalposts take up some room? What? The goalposts, wouldn't they take up some room? Um, yeah. Yes, but I've, uh, I've thought of that. And the seats? Yeah, that's obvious. And seats. The changing rooms. Yes. Ticket birds. Yeah, the that's enough, and Plankton. The case. Just get on with your counting, will you? Well, it all seems to be working, and you have everything here you need for a computer system. Now, this is your keyboard. That's for typing information into the computer. And whatever you type in here comes out on the screen there, and the results are printed out here. Oh, but what's this? That's the disk drive unit. See the disks go in there? You mean it's like a record player? Oh, in a way, yes. See, these disks are like little records of information that you want to keep. Yes, but haven't you forgotten something? No, what? Well, there's the typewriter. The keyboard. The TV thing. The visual display unit. And the printer and the record player gizmo. The disk drive unit. But what else do you need? Where is the actual computer? Oh, that's here behind the keyboard. It's actually very small. Mrs. Mullet, how many rabbits did you say there were? There were eight, dear. Oh, there are 14 now. Oh, dear. 9,369. Hey, Vaughan. Don't call me Vaughan, Plankton. Well, 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 what is it? Buckets full. Can I eat them now? How many are there? How many what? Loops in the buckets. Oh, um, loops, yeah. Uh, 9,396. Yeah. 9,369. Yep. You sure? Yep. You're yep. sure? That's it. 9,369. Okay, see, so it's 123,472,503 multiplied by 9,669. 39. 39. Right. Oh, blast! Well, what happened, Port? Oh, this stupid adding machine is too small to cope with figures this size. Gosh, well, what do we do? Work it out with pencil and paper? Oh, Plank, it'll take us ages to work it out that way. And the entries have to be in by 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. God, oh, drat. They'll be so close to a solution and have no way of finding the answer. <laughs> is there no way, Port? Let's... Let's face it, Plankton. We'd have to use a computer to work out figures that size. Oh, I know where there's a computer. What? I said, I know where there's a computer. Where? Of course. Infinity limit. We can sneak in there when they've gone out and used these. Plankton, you are a genius. Oh, thanks. Can I eat them now? You certainly can, my boy. You certainly are. Just what was that total once again? One, two. How's it going? Oh, I think it'll work out okay. Sarah looked at a lot of software before I decided to buy this busy calc program. I think it'll meet Mrs. Mullet's needs. Will she be able to use it? Oh, yeah, it's a really easy program. It's menu driven. Oh, that means it tells you what to do as you go along. Yep, well, have a look at this. See, now it says select a category. Well, what do you want to see? Your prices, what you got in the bank? Well, suppose you want to see what stock you've got in the shop. Press S for stock. And you get all different types of items. Again, all she has to do is pick which one, type it in, and up comes the list. How does the computer know what she sells? Well, I've typed that in from the list you made. See here, under pets, you've got kittens, puppies, canaries, goldfish, tropical fish. Then tropical fish can be broken up into angelfish, tetras, loaches, neons, and so on and so forth. She's now got a list of everything she sells in the shop on this desk. So all she has to do is, each day, write what she sold, the price, and the computer will do the rest. Another good deed well done. <laughs> Easy when you know how. There's only one problem. What's that? I got square eyes looking <laughs> at the screen all that. That's 
Pack up the go. Mm -hmm. Um, how about fish for tea? Fish? Fish? Neons? <laughs> But they went hours ago, Plankton. We had to wait until you'd finished counting those confounded loops. Uh, the door, the door. Right. Right, here we are. This is it. Oh, <laughs> don't interrupt me now, Plankton. There's work to be done. But, Ward, that's the coffee machine. The computer's over there. But I know where the computer is. I'm just... just checking for hidden devices, Plankton. Now, uh, let me see. Um... Oh, look. Fort, a menu. Oh, great, I'm starved. Well, it's not offering to make us a snack now, is it, Plankton? No, now, see, I'll try, um, M for multiply. What's it doing, Vaughan? Um, it's, um, it's... It's doing something far too complicated for you to understand. I've, uh, my notebook, my figures, where did I leave my feet? My feet. <laughs> All right, we've got here, 23, but... Don't fiddle! I was just writing my name. Go over there and sit down. Right, let's see. Multiplied by 5,000 equals... How to start programming. Square root. A computer mm -hmm. language is a set of words mm -hmm. that the computer understands. Multiply. Well, that makes sense. Please, please multiply! Come on. What's the answer? What's it? I'll get violent. I'll pull your wires no, no, out. No, 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 no. I want you. No, Vought. You've got to use the right language. Uh, what do you suggest, Plankton? Um, Japanese, French, perhaps a bit of Swahili? No, 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 no. One of these. Fortune. Pascal. Cobol. Algol. Algol? What, what are you talking about, Plankton? Languages, Plank languages. Computer languages. You have to write in the right order. But that's all double touch. We can't possibly use all that. What about this one, Vaught? It's called basic. Basic? Basic? You expect me, one of the great computer minds of the 20th century, to use a language called basic? OK, Vaught, if you'd rather work it out yourself. Look, just hand it over here, Plankton, and behave yourself. Right. To the reader. With the advent of integrated circuits, here yeah, and the miniaturisation of electronic... Vort! Vort! The sun's up! Uh, Vort! Uh, Vort! Uh, wake up! Oh, Vort! Let A uh, equal B squared by the cross no, no. hydrant algol! It's all right! Algol! It's all Al right! Uh, what? But, but, I'm, oh, uh, I must have been dreaming, Plankton. Uh. Vort, did you do it? What? Oh, no, 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 this stupid thing. It's good for nothing, Plankton. You know, I can't even add up! Lord, he... What's it doing, Vort? Oh, I don't know. The, the thing's mad. It's evil, evil. Look, Vort! The answer! Huh? How did you do it? Oh, but I must have done it in my sleep. You're a genius, Vort. Don't call me Vort. But yes, you're right. I am a genius. Programming a computer in my sleep. This is truly my finest hour. Uh, Vort. I must be the greatest scientific mind of the... Vort, they're coming, they're don't coming! Don't interrupt me, Plankton. Pla they're coming! Well, don't just stand there. Get a move on, quick! Get the, the answer. Will you get the answer, please, Plankton? That'll be okay. She's got the same disk drive unit as Felix. Yeah. It's funny. What? I don't remember leaving this machine on last night. What's all that? I don't know. There must have been a system overload or something. What do all the numbers mean? Absolutely nothing. They're just random numbers. Funny thing is, I don't remember leaving the machine switched on. Oh, that's what computer programming does to you. I better get this disk down to Mrs. Mullet as soon as possible. Shouldn't you check it first? What for? I went through it completely yesterday. See ya. Oh. Watch out for the bunnies. Now, see orders. We press O for orders. And it tells you everything you're short on and what you need to order. It also tells you the price of each item and how much it is when it's all added up. Oh, well, the man from the pet shop supply place will be around this morning, so I will just jot that down. No need. Look at this. Press P for print, and it'll print it all out for you. Really? Isn't that amazing? 
You mean I can just hand that it when he comes in? That's right. So all you have to do is, each night, write in what you've sold that day, and the computer will keep everything in order for you. It'll even tell you how much money you're making. Oh, really? Isn't it marvellous? I hope I don't get confused. It's such a complicated machine. Just follow the instructions. It'll all work out fine. <gasps> Hello, Infinity Limited. Oh, Mrs. Mullet, how's everything going? What? I'm sorry, I can't explain that. No, I Look, I better come over right away, all right? Yeah, bye. What's the matter? Well, Mrs. Mullet said that the computer's ordered 5,000 packets of fish food. She said that the cost is going to force her to close up the shop. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The winner of the Compute the Loops competition. Here we go, Plankton, here we go, here we go. Uh, our entry's in there. <laughs> yes, both of them. Both of them? Yes, for I put an entry in too. I used our phone numbers, our ages, serial number on the back of the television set, uh, the board That's the most ridiculous number. thing I've ever heard, As Plankton. You're lucky I'm here to do the, the thinking. was to guess the number of loops it would take to fill the Melbourne yeah. cricket ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The correct answer was, of course, worked out by the famous $1 million crab Spit it out, computer. spit it out, spit it out. And you can see uh, yeah. some of that answer behind me now. Right, right. The entry that was closest to the correct answer was... Yeah. The entry sent in by... Yes. Mr. Arthur... Langton, care of Vortex Ventures Limited. Ford, Ford! Hey, I won! Congratulations, Arthur. Well, well, naturally, I mean, some of my influence was bound to rub off on you eventually, Plankton, but, but, but we won. <laughs> we won! <laughs> the money! The money is mine! <laughs> well, there's no 5,000 there. Which brand was delivered? I don't know. Oh, hang on, it'll be on the docket in my jacket over there. Yeah. 5,000 packets of fish food. Yeah. Price, $2 a packet. Yeah. Type, Uncle Jim's Special Fresh Plankton Mix. Uncle Jim's Plankton Mix? There's no such thing on the list as plankton. Plankton? You don't think... Rick, is there anywhere someone could have added something onto the file? Maybe under M for miscellaneous. Plankton and a whole lot of numbers, eh? Guess who's been playing in our yard? <laughs> ah, rubbish, rubbish. <laughs> well, Plankton, we're rich. Now, let's see. I'm going to have a new car, swimming pool, colour TV. What about the no. medical research laboratory you were going to build for it? Yes, yes, well, there's hardly enough here for us to do anything really worthwhile, so um, I think we'd be better off just buying a few things for ourselves. Oh, that's good, Bort. Can I have some money to buy some goopy loops? Oh, now? you certainly can, my boy. You certainly can. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> buy as many loops as you like, man. Huh? Thanks, Bort. <laughs> uh, uh, well, well, well. If it isn't Infinity Limited, uh, come to have a brief sniff of the smell of success. Oh, no, we're just returning your visit. Visit? What, uh, what visit? Oh, your little visit into our office the other night? Your office? Well, that's, that's ridiculous. Not at all. Your assistant here left his signature on the computer. Hey, it's funny things, computers. Well, who would have thought that just pressing a few buttons, you could end up ordering 5,000 packets of fish food? Fish food? Uh, yes. Fish food. <laughs> and there they are, just as you ordered them. As we ordered them? Yep. And at $2 a packet, that comes to a bill of about $10,000, I think. My, that is a lot of money, isn't yes, it? Yes, that's the $10,000 we won. <laughs> $10,000? Well, isn't that handy? Um, Look, here's your uh, bill. Young man. And we'll just take this over to Mrs. Mullet. Glad everything worked out Young so man. well. Goodbye. The other 4,000 packets are in the hall. <laughs> it's gone! My money, my, my fortune, it's... Gone down the river and up the creek. <laughs> Cheer up, Vortex. Money isn't everything. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> Let's go to the park and we can feed the fishes. What? Well, I thought with all this fish food to get rid of, such a nice day we could go to the park and feed the fish. And plankton. Plankton, plankton, I have it. The wonder fish food of the age. The caviar of carp for the goldfish kamei. I can see it now, Plankton. A national television advertising campaign. You as the mermaid, smiling between the seaweed, the little fishies in television land. Now let's see.